our view. I don't really know how we got to sit here because I'm assuming if you come in the summer and you try and sit here, it might be a little bit hectic, but you managed to nab the table, yeah. Welcome back to today's vlog. I'm so, so excited for this one. This is like a vlog I've been waiting to film, I feel like, since I got engaged. And for anyone out there that enjoys wedding content, girly content, holiday stuff, you're probably gonna like this video today. Um, it's gonna be a vlog of my trip whilst I'm out here in Florence. I'm actually looking for wedding venues. So yes, it's an exciting one. I am very organized. I've actually got my little wedding planner book with me that my sister got for me so really looking forward to this trip it is me and my mum on this trip sadly Leon just could not get the time off work so it is what it is we need to get the ball rolling and I'm looking to get married in 2025 so the hunt for a wedding venue needs to start happening and I need to find a date and a venue as soon as possible really so you can kind of work everything else around that so that is what the aim of this trip is all about we are in Florence this is our room we have explored a little bit we just went and had like some aperols and like sat and in the city of Florence and looked around and it's been really nice so we did get here earlier this morning we are here tomorrow and we're looking at two venues tomorrow which I will of course bring you guys along to two on Saturday and one on Sunday morning before we go back Sunday afternoon so that's kind of the plan Sorry. time Sorry. <laughs> you honestly clanging around I tried to avoid it but we're in a very small room so I couldn't do they know I'm here they do know you're they here just blown your cover. no I've said you're here so that is the plan for the next few days I will bring you guys along. I am going to vlog this trip and make it like kind of fun and not too educational. I don't know if that's the right word. But if you're specifically interested in Italy and venues, I think I'm going to sit down and film an entire video about that. I inquired at so many venues and I have so many responses from venues, some really outrageous ones that I feel like I just kind of want to share, talk about maybe why I didn't opt for certain places in Italy and have like a full combo. But I think I'll do that not in this vlog. So yeah, I'm also going to make a little TikTok series where I discuss each venue and why I didn't go for it. So hopefully that's all the info I have for you right now. I know it's kind of like a lot and I'm just like, blah, blah, blah. Um, but I need to start this vlog off. We're gonna go and get dinner and then we've got an early start tomorrow. Luckily, I'm with my mum who has been brave enough to hire a car and drive it into the city of Florence, which let me tell you, is something I don't recommend. Is it something we don't recommend? Oh well, I'll let you know. Yeah, so we'll see how we get on and then it all starts tomorrow. Hello guys. So we actually went for dinner. It was okay, it was kind of unusual. Like we were sort of in an underground cellar and they kept bringing out like raw meat. And then we heard them like hacking it in the kitchen, which I'm sure for most people is fine. But obviously when you're with a vegetarian and a pescatarian, it was a bit traumatic. But we had some really nice wine and lovely pasta. And then we ended up going to the St. Regis for drinks, which was so nice. And we just sat there and they had like live music, like a pianist and everything. So yeah, and now we're back. We're gonna go to sleep and we are off in the morning. So I will bring you guys along. Hello vlog. We've got Vanessa in there. I hope they can hear us the air comes on. Her. Yeah. <laughs> but we are very, very warm. We are driving to the first Look, I'm very organised, got my book. We're driving to the first venue. This is one of the ones I'm really quite intrigued about. I'll put the name of each venue on the screen. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one because I think this is, at the moment, one of the ones we're really intrigued by. Mm -hmm. So we will see. So we're about nine Let's minutes away. stunning views. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, it's lovely. So we just saw the first venue, first of 
Oh my god, five. it's stunning. So it's nice, like isn't long. it? And we were really impressed. We really liked it. We were asking about a thousand and one questions. I think I've got notes all over my notebook, like just bits of information. And overall, it was a good one to see. They were showing us like different areas and like where you can have the ceremony and where you can have the food. And yeah, we we're trying to like visualize it. Some of the things in there that it was like, honestly, guys, it's like being at a museum. They've got things in there from the 14th century. It's amazing. Wow, this hotel, girls, if it's in the budget, do it because this is absolutely beautiful like just breathtaking you can see the Duomo can you guys see it oh my god it's amazing here I don't really know why I'm whispering but it is stunning look at all this table they've got with all look at this this is so beautiful so we just had a lovely little light lunch and um, now we are off to the second venue of today which is about half an hour away so we're on our way that hotel was really lovely though it's very bougie it's one of the small luxury hotels of the world but it was really really nice and it was nice to have a little nosy round as well and because the weather's we're, we're so lucky today the weather's so nice that it's nice to see all these places in the lovely sunshine so yes we're off to the other side of florence completely That's different area about. let's see what we think of this one this one seems quite booked up so that's a great thing and i've seen lots of people talk about this being in like their top couple of um venue options so yeah okay this is corsini just for reference not a fan of the noise are we we've spoken to you since we came back from the second venue which was really nice as well i feel like it kind of just confused me a little bit i can't lie because um i guess there's things about one venue that one has are you just doing oh, the yeah, jig yeah which jacket are you doing a <laughs> what the... which jacket this jacket okay i like that a lot what handbag are you doing what color is your handbag uh taupey color oh, i think the first one okay but you might prefer that That's black a bit one sort of like yeah, no, okay, first off. Anyway, so yeah, so it was just a bit confusing because there were things about one venue that one had and things about another that another had. And then you obviously have to like total everything up because there's all these hidden costs, I think. There's like a price and then there's like with this and with this and it's all just a bit, all just a bit confusing. So we spent like two hours talking about it. Then we thought we'd driven into the zone in Florence that you're not allowed to drive into. So that was a whole hoo-ha, but then we are someone and apparently we haven't. I don't know, it was all a bit of a, then a police car came by and nearly crashed into the vehicle oh, while my mum was sat in the car and it was a whole, it has been all a bit of a drama, but we're off to go and get some pizza and just not talk about weddings for a bit because I feel a little bit like it was all we've spoken about since we got here. Oh, no. Off we go for the evening. Here we are. I've taken my jacket off now because I didn't want to get too warm. She and doesn't then... like my red cardigan. We go. I do. She says it's like a granny. No, it but doesn't. I dress like a granny. I mean, look at these I shoes that I wear. Me it would look, like a granny. look at my granny shoes. They are like grand old lady shoes. I like to look like an old lady. Well, don't because everyone has start saying you look like the old lady and I'm the mutton dressed up as <laughs> <laughs> Hello guys, I am really looking a little bit worse for wear right now. I've got this really pretty cold sore. Cute. If you get cold swords, honestly, you will know they are like the most annoying thing to get and you get them when they run when you run down. And you're exhausted, which obviously I'm not on this trip and I'm having a wonderful time, but before we came away, I was a little bit stressed and run down and I ended up getting a cold sore. And honestly, it's been here for like a week. It's so annoying, it like will not go. And they're so hard, like my cold sores are always really hard to cover up because they're like on my skin practically. And then this whole area breaks out and it's like a whole, it's a whole situation. Anyway, we are off to bed. I am so exhausted. It is currently half past 12 and we're up early again tomorrow to look at more venues, so yeah. We're off to sleep. Um, we went to a really nice little pizza place tonight. And then we had a drink in Harry's Bar, which is in a hotel across the road. But now I'm off to sleep because I am so exhausted. And we do it again tomorrow. We've got two more venues to go and view tomorrow. We've got Villa Dinella. And where's the second one? Il Serotino, which I'm curious about. I'm very curious about. So yeah, I feel like I've got a winner. 
at the moment. I feel like I've got a winner, but we'll have to see. Hello vlog, good morning. We are here at the next venue. I will again put it on the screen so you guys can see. I think there's a few dogs that are at this venue. It looks gorgeous. The journey was a little bit stressful to get here. It's quite a bit of a way out of Florence. It's sort of in between Florence and Pisa. So far so good, looks really, really nice. And I will show you guys around a little bit. Um, you obviously, when looking at wedding venues, have to consider your plan B option. And I've struggled with plan Bs here in Italy. I've just personally found them a bit dark and not my style. If this was my plan B, I'd still be very happy with this. I mean, this is the room. I mean, look, look at all the light. This huge big old mirror. I mean, if you decorated all of this, it's beautiful. We are doing the food and wine tastings for YouTube. <laughs> and um, now we're going to go and make tiramisu. Oh, experience. Just quickly, we're off out for dinner. I'm actually gonna film on my phone and not bring my camera because I don't wanna be carrying it around. We did see two venues today. One was very promising. One, we stayed there for about all of two minutes and it was a really stressful drive for poor Vanessa. So that one didn't last long. But anyway, we're off for dinner and I'm gonna film on my phone because um, I don't really wanna film on here. How was today? This is stressed Vanessa. How how was today though? I thought the driving. one of the venues was very, Terrifying. very, very promising. One was really lovely. One was an absolute no-no. One was... No. no. Bye. <laughs> I have just got back from Florence. Um, I've literally just got out of the shower and tried to like try and wash my hair and I've done a dreadful job because I was doing it downstairs without a mirror. So ignore that. How are we all doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I know I've got no makeup on and I look a little bit frightening. I've got no fake tan on, brows not tinted, but this is what I like with no makeup on anyway. So yes, I'm back from Florence. I, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope it wasn't too all over the shop. I think my intentions before this trip was to have such organized content go out and get really good videos for you. And like, I was so focused on doing a good job for socials. But unfortunately, that all kind of goes out the window when you're there because my main focus was finding a venue and I just got really caught up in that thing. But that is what I was there to do. So I don't regret that at all, but it just means there isn't as much content as I kind of had hoped for. I think my plan is to sit down and do a little TikTok series that I've seen some girls do where they essentially go through venue by venue in the location if you're a destination bride that they were curious on and the pros and cons and like the reasons why they didn't pick it. I really, really want to do that because for me, I had such a variation of where I thought I was gonna get married. I mean, I've always wanted to get married abroad, but the logistics of it are more complex. It's something you have to consider. You know, you have to factor in that your guests are gonna have to travel. And that is that is something that you are expecting of people. I am not expecting that of people. I am so grateful if people decide they wanna come and watch me get married and they wanna travel. Yeah, as much as I obviously want my friends and family there, I am conscious of the fact that other people have other things going on in their life. And if you're a destination bride, I think that's something you just have to like suck it up. You know, you can't get married somewhere and expect everyone to just be there and so that there is an element of that to this experience and I I sort of was like that's the sacrifice you make and I'm willing to take the gamble and see and go with the flow I'm hoping my really close friends and family will obviously be there but there are logistics when you get married abroad and I think for me my initial thoughts were I saw all these pictures I'm gonna put some on the screen of Como and I was like that's it I'm getting married in Como a thing what people don't talk about is this wedding here these pictures here whether you want to admit it or not the cost of this is over half a million pounds going up to a million going up to millions of pounds and that, and that is as a young girl on pinterest looking for inspiration excited about your wedding you aren't aware of that at the time it's only as you go through this process you realize that so all of this was my inspo and very quickly 
I came back down to reality. So Como was somewhere I was willing to look. I think one of the drawbacks for me with Como was a lot of the venues, you've got to have that music off at half past nine. You've got to be coming inside from being outside at about 10. There were some strict laws on that and it was something I wasn't willing to sacrifice. Um, a lot of the venues were sadly out of my budget. The ones that I had dreamed of, Villa Barbiano, beautiful venue. I think now to get married on a weekend it's about a hundred thousand pounds or euros i think in the week it's 70 something like that the cost is in insane but it's stunning then my next consideration was amalfi i i considered the amalfi coast i love the amalfi coast i think it's stunning i think it's a great venue for a smaller wedding if you're having 30 guests maybe maximum 50 guests you can get some great venues if you're looking to have 100 120 guests it's a bit more difficult there are less options again there's a lot of strict laws on music outside and i think the dream for me is having a lot of my wedding outside obviously that comes with a gamble but i just wouldn't want to come inside too early if the weather was good i would feel frustrated by that i think anyway florence is somewhere i love it's somewhere i've considered and i had the best trip i just want to say at the end of this video she might not be watching huge shout out to my mum. my mum was so amazing on this trip she really helped me she's thinks of things i don't think about and mainly she drove a car in florence which i know sounds ridiculous and as she has said many a time like she's driven in london in america in spain like it's not like she's not driven around the world something about driving in Florence is a huge challenge just if you're going to Florence please take this as a little mental note there are a lot of areas you cannot drive your vehicle in and out of Florence without incurring huge fines and they just are sprung on you like don't go down this road because you're going to get fined hundreds of pounds the other factor is as we had we had to have a car to go and view the venues so we had to have a car there was talks of having a driver if that's something that you want to do go for it we couldn't really find a driver that wasn't wanting to charge like 700 euros because they all want to add 22% VAT on everything. So it was all just getting a little bit. So anyway, she drove, it was amazing. The last venue that we visited was Sunday morning and I fell in love with the venue. I'm gonna put pictures and videos on the screen. Absolutely fell in love with this venue. It was beautiful. I can't really fault it. There were some in inside areas that I didn't love, but most of the outside areas I thought were stunning. It's in a vineyard, so you're getting all of the wine that's coming from the vineyard, which is just such a nice touch. I loved the venue. Couldn't get married here on a Saturday because you need to do a three night buyout and that is not part of my budget. So I would have to get married here on a Friday or a Sunday, which I'm not like fully opposed to, but it's not like the ideal situation. The issue with this venue is you cannot have music on outside after half past 10, you've got to come inside. And I know for some people that is not an issue, but if I'm spending money on my tablescapes, on everything outside looking beautiful, it just feels such a shame to bring that energy inside. It confused me where I would put a band and a band is something I really want for my wedding. I just feel like I'm not opposed to coming inside, but to me that's like, post midnight that's really late on that's when you're having your dj that's when you're having more of like your friends and maybe some of your older relatives want to go home at that point i just don't like the idea of coming inside early so it put me off the venue i think if you want something with intimate family or something where you're not bothered about being outside in the evening this venue was stunning and it really was stunning i did have this incredible book and my sister got this book for me and i'm gonna try and find a link for it it is incredible this book there's an entire section on venues and vendors and it gets you to answer all of the questions that you're considering. Oh my gosh, everything's falling on the floor. Um, there's all these sections where you can write notes. I wrote like five pages of notes. I've been a note taker since my days at school, so that was always inevitable. I've got all my little leaflets and pamphlets, which I can put in the pocket, which I haven't done. There's all sections of this book that are just incredible, like visions, timelines, guest planning, everything. And I'm so much more of like an old school person. Like I love to write things down. I'm terrible at typing stuff up on my computer. So yeah, I left this on the plane at London City. Thank you so much to the crew and the pilot who came up to me and my mum and were like, we've given it in, they were so kind. Uh, yeah, left it on the plane, don't even. So yeah, overall really successful trip. I think part of me feels like a little bit reassured and the other part of me feels a little bit confused because there's so many elements to think about. I think I know what is the venue for me and then it's just doing the next steps it's getting that date in and that venue and then working around everything catering photographer videographer band singer strings dress bridesmaids groomsmen rings I'm forgetting loads of things, cocktail hour, like just so many things and getting it all figured out. But I'm actually really looking forward to this journey and I want it to be really fun and memorable. Hopefully I only do this once. So I want it to be something really, really fun. And I also just feel there's not a lot of wedding content out there. There is a lot of like post-wedding content out there, but there's not a lot of like pre-wedding going through the experience type 
content and I want to I wanna work on that. So let me know what you want to see across my socials. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for listening to me ramble on. Any advice from brides or anyone is always welcomed. And um, I'll see you on my next vlog. Let me know what you want from me. What do you want to see? Do you want some spring fashion content? I think that's what I need to do. I go to America at the end of April. Um, so I need to get some bits for that trip. So I am going to look at that. I'm going to go. I'll catch up with you guys later. Thank you for watching. Bye. Oh.